Hello, welcome to our lesson today on writing expressions for word problems. Basically, we're going to take words and we're going to make them into math. So we've all had experience with words, and we've all had experience with math. So this should be real fun and easy. But it sometimes gets complicated. So we're going to walk through a couple of questions. The first thing that I wanted to go over is what exactly words mean. And we'll start at the top. When you see something say it decrease, it will decrease, or it decreases by a certain amount. That means subtraction. And when it's increasing, it means addition. Same thing as if, if it says less than, it's subtraction. And if it says greater than, it's addition. Another word for addition that you'll see is the sum. Okay? If the sum of two numbers is two numbers added together. Okay? So those are some words that you'll see for addition and subtraction. And then for division and multiplication, here are two words that you'll see quite often. The quotient is division, and the product is multiplication. So those are some words that you'll see, and, and we're going to actually practice with making those into sentences, or from sentences, into math questions. First off, we'll start with some of the easier ones. The quotient of 10 and 2. If we remember from the last slide, quotient means division. So that simply means 10 divided by 2. Okay, The quotient of 10 and 2 means 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Okay. Now, the next question is the sum of 10 and 2. And if you remember what the sum means, the sum is addition. So the sum of 10 and 2 is 10 plus 2, or 12. You get a smiley face. You get a kind of a braces filled smiley face there. This guy's really funny. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think he's funny. OK. The next one is talking about increasing. And I'm actually sticking a variable in there. So this is making life a little bit more complicated. but. It's not that much more complicated. The first thing says a number, n, is increased by 6. So how would you write that as a math equation? n, a, a number we're going to call n, is increased by 6. The way that we would write that is to say n plus 6. Increased means that it's addition. And so this just means whatever n is, whatever number that is, it's getting increased by 6. We're adding 6 onto it. Okay. I know sometimes adding variables makes things more complicated. But in this case, it's pretty straightforward. A number n is increased by 6. It means n plus 6. We're going to do the same thing here. The sum, and this one here is a little bit more complicated, but I'll try and do something to make it pretty OK. The sum of a number and 6 is decreased by 4. All right. When I get a question like that, I like to try and divide it up. And in this case, I've divided it into two colors, a gray color and a maroon color. The sum of a number and 6, so that's just like this, a number increased by 6. The sum of a number and 6, that's just 6 plus n, or n plus 6. And that is decreased by 4. So what I'm going to do on the next slide here is show you, using those same colors, exactly what we've done. A sum of a number and 6, that's n plus 6, is decreased by 4, minus 4. And we put these parentheses in here just to say we're doing this step first, and then we're doing this step separate from that. OK? So that is what we'll end up with for our final answer, n plus 6 in parentheses, minus 4. The sum of the number and 6 decreased by 4. Now we're going to go the opposite direction, which is going to make things seem a little more complicated. But if you have something like this, 8n, and you need to translate that into a sentence, what does 8n mean? Well, 8n means it's 8 times n, okay? or 8 multiplied by n. So if we think back to the first slide, what were the words that we used for multiplication? If you remember, it was product. Okay, So to translate 8n into a sentence, we would say it's the product of 8 and a number. Remember, n is just replacing a number for us. Okay, So this would be 
the product of 8 and a number, we can just write as 8n. This is why I like math, <laughs> right here. I don't have to write all of this stuff. I can just write 8n, and it makes sense to me. See, for English people, they may prefer to see things written out like this, but for me, I like 8n. 8n just works for me.